Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2 Project Young Timer and why am I here? Because this center, uh, uh, plastic center uh, wheel cover is broken. As you can see, if I take this removal tool, it just falls, uh, falls off. What has happened? If we see here, here this is an uh, uh, unbroken part, so it has four pins, plastic pins with this, and this keeps the center wheel hub on. And here, as you can see, let me show you, two pins are broken, only two are on, and these two pins are broken, and this is not holding here. So uh, the center, um, cent plastic center cover just falls off. Since they are, since they are quite uh, hard to get, and uh, they are also quite expensive, I will try to repair this. And how will I repair? I will try to weld this plastic two pins, plastic with plastic welder, welding tool, tool, and hopefully this will help. And the center, this plastic center wheel cover will be use, useful uh, again. Let's see. Okay, let us try now. Let me try to weld this, uh, these broken pins. As you can see, it will be quite hard because here it is very small. Uh, it is broken at the uh, uh, at the end of this pin, so we will see how it will go. So first, I will just weld a little bit uh, pin so that it will it will stay up. So I'll just try to. Okay, let's start with this one first. So like this, and I will just weld here a little bit so that it, the, the this pin will stay fixed and this should be it like this and I will just okay this plastic very quickly melts so now it's it holds and I will do the same here at the back okay oh, there it is no, I will not be able to do it here. Okay, so it is melted here a little bit. Okay, and a little bit here. That's it. So now it will stay fixed. Okay, so pin is now fixed, but it uh, barely holding holding. So I will now uh, uh, fix it uh, with this uh, stainless steel mesh. And let's hope that it will work. Let me just find, okay. So here I have now the stainless steel mesh. Okay, I think that it's okay. Let's see if I put it now like here. Okay, this should help so that it will be a little bit firmer. Okay, now let me just melt it a little bit in. Not too much. Okay. Holding it. Okay. As you can see, it is melted into the plastic. I, I, I'm very careful that I don't melt it too much so that it will not go through the plastic okay it's melting okay so this bottom part is now melted into the plastic so this should hold now as you can see it's melted inside now this will be a little bit harder so i will start on the one side just on the one side I will need to push this with my scissors in. Okay. And I just put the worm inside. Okay. It's melting. Yeah. Not too much. This will be a little bit problematic. So I'm melting only on one side so that the other side is 
keeping it fixed. Okay, so now we just put it like this. It is melted a little bit in. Okay, as you can see, the stainless steel mesh is now melted, and this should reinforce the pin to hold it. Now I will do the other side. Okay. And the middle. So as you can see, it is melted inside this pin. The plastic is over. Now a little bit more. So now I will just hold it now. And and it melts inside. Okay, so this should now keep the spin from breaking again and it should be quite reinforced. Okay, okay, so this this is a little bit now, uh, it is melted inside. Now I will try also here a little bit down more that's it and here more okay so I think that this should be quite all fine we just melt a little bit more inside and here yeah as you can see this is now melted and should keep this pin from breaking again do it more here that's it okay this plastic is quite easily melted can easily melt okay so this should be it now I will reinforce everything with uh, some additional plastic this is here I have this new plastic and I will just melt it in so that it will reinforce everything okay as you can see oh i need to be careful that i don't melt these pins these pins here so i will just do it like this and i will melt the plastic and over this should keep you can see that there is some smoke going on so it's good that you do this in very well ventilated place okay some more plastic these are plastic rods especially designed for such kind of welding plastic welding so you can easily find them okay and i will just melt them so this should reinforce everything okay let us just check okay as you can see on this side still everything perfect so i'll do some i will put some more plastic here Okay, this is it. Everything is reinforced. Nice. That's it. Nice. Okay. Now maybe also a little bit of plastic up here. This is it. Okay, let's leave it to cool down. That's it. Okay. So this is now this side. I I would say it's okay. Now the other side, this side can be a little bit more problematic, as you can see. Here I think that this goes inside the uh, center ring of the um, aluminum wheel. So I will try not to go over here. So I will not put any uh, stainless steel reinforcement. But I will just put plastic. I will just try to weld here where it was broken. So that it will, um, it will stay firm. And hopefully this side that is, that is reinforced with the stainless steel will keep it uh, will be enough it will have enough strength to hold it okay so now as you can see it's quite firm already 
so that's great and now I will just try to weld also this part here okay so as you can see bro it was broken here down so I will now just weld it together a little bit that's it and okay it's already a little bit more fixed as you can see and now I will just put a lot of plastic here additional plastic just so that it will stay more firm that it will be stronger yeah so let me just do it like this I'll take some plastic here as you can see it's melting nicely okay yeah okay good and now I will just put I'll try to melt this plastic in here so that it will reinforce without without melting up here without melting here because this goes inside inside the inside the uh, center cap so let's do it now like this okay this will be a little bit of of a challenge yeah that's it and melting it down as you can see only down so that it would melt together with this plastic and create a firm firm structure but not melting it up okay okay Okay, so let's see now. Okay, let it firm, let it cool down. So we'll see if it will be okay. So now I can go uh, to this one, the second one. Okay, so this one is fixed. This one will also be. These two will. Okay, I think that this should be enough now. Welding. So, if I look now, you see these two unbroken pins are okay. Okay, so on this side, everything there is no sign of welding, which is great. Almost no sign. I can see that here it is a little bit out, but okay. So here these two are uh, quite flexible and these two are fixed so now we'll just leave that this uh, cools down and we'll see how this will now go inside okay like this let me check let me try to push it okay 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 and also this one needs to go inside let's see if it will hold or not uh, it's very hard okay so it went so we have them in and I will just leave a little bit if you can see I was not so careful so I a little bit melted this side here but okay this will not be this is just an aesthetic 
point of view I could be a little bit more careful so this is on me and also this side here when I was uh, when I was welding this one I made it a little bit but okay so now I will just leave it uh, uh, a little bit to um, to cool down and then I will try it and let's see if it works okay so I have now uh, these two pins uh, welded uh, for this uh, on the center uh, hub cap as you can see they are now uh, welded and uh, but because they are not so uh, variable as this they are not so flexible they are now fixed I expect that uh, it will uh, I will need uh, more force to push this hub cap uh, in so let's try okay now I will align it as it should be so like this you see this needs to be pointed to this one and I will try to push it in and yeah I need it much uh, more uh, force than with uh, the center hub caps that do not have broken pin so now to take it out yeah also to remove it uh, I will need to use much larger force let us just try this and this is it so uh, both pins are still fixed but as you can see so let me try again I do need to use much larger force so I align it and okay so for in it what it went without any problem and now yeah for removing I need to use larger force okay and this is it hub cap is on uh, I did need uh, to use uh, larger force but it will definitely stay on even if the pins are welded so this is repaired I hope that this video will help thank you for watching and uh, drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is fun bye